I think we can get started then. And we just sort of love if you could tell us a little bit about who you are, what you kind of do and um, why it's so important to you. Um, you don't have to go into detail about everything just as much as you would like to say. Um, my name is Brett Pierce. Um, I am a educator, program developer, producer. Um, I, my background, I, I, I be, right out of college, I taught for three years. So that was kind of my, my base. I taught a high school in Virginia, actually, um, for three years, uh, moved to New York City and eventually landed at, uh, what was then children's television workshop, became Sesame Workshop. And that's where all my grounding is, um, where basically you are given a curriculum and then you have to create a entertaining, usually television series around that curriculum, whether it's a game show or it's a drama or it's a, um, a lot of times we, we move into radio. Um, mm -hmm. So that's kind of what I do is help to create entertaining, highly entertaining, engaging programs, radio or television all around the world um, that always has some sort of positive social behavior behind it. We're either modeling it or we're kind of putting forth certain ideas. Sometimes it's also very kind of skills driven, like, you know, how to create a CV or something like that. Um, it doesn't really matter what the content is. The idea is how do we create, you know, characters and plot or, or games or uh, you know, some total hooked in format, uh, usually some sort of narrative format to bring the viewer in to the ideas that we want to share with them. Usually again, about kind of um, attitude or behavior change for the benefit of humanity. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. From kind of preschool up to adults. Oh, that's, that's, that's really amazing. Do you like, um, do you like that you're able to work with such a like broad range of ages or is there like maybe a particular age that you like working with a little bit more or do you find like you, you I work like the best working, with all ages? I'm gonna say 8 to 12 um, mm -hmm. because that's an age or even 10 to 14 that's an age where you can still be kind of silly and fantastical you can just kind of take off but but grounded you know mm -hmm. and and this is a group that's also if, if the topic is you know a kind of coming of age-ish or leaning toward a certain kind of maturity, you know, they're they're hungry. They're eager for this information. They are eager for the models, for the character models. So I find that to be a, a very transitional, you know, kind of a dramatically transitional stage. And it's fun to program for that age. Yeah. So we looked through your LinkedIn and we saw your role at Meridian Stories. Can you kind of talk about how that came about? Sure. Um, so somewhere along the line, I come back from traveling around the world quite a bit. And, and I, you know, I, I in no way take for granted the good fortune I've had to be able to travel around the world and work with with uh, all sorts of amazing people. You know, television can be a pretty slimy industry, just kind of slimy people <laughs> making programming, which are not, which is, you know, can be out to, you know, destroy rather than um, be constructive and, you know, kind of engaging in a positive and joyful way um but within my niche all these people are great so if it's preschool you know educators or it's it's uh, middle school or or just kind of youth in general whether we're in south sudan iraq or wherever um it's it's a great bunch of people so i come back here and that work i'm going to kind of slow down and i'm going to rethink and i'm like what do i know that nobody else really knows and it's exactly that it's i know how to kind of take a curricular goal and create a story around it that's going to engage. And I wanted to take that whole basic idea and bring it into the classroom, um, where here's, you know, whether your goal is learning about a certain author or a historical moment or a photosynthesis, the best way to do it is to create a story around it. And it's even better if you're creating a digital story around it because that involves all of these elements besides just words. Uh, it involves you no know, music, sound, and imagery. Um, which also has, turns out, has a you know highly educational, equitable side to it because there's a lot of people that will never, ever master writing and reading. It's just not their way forward, uh, no matter how hard educators try. So suddenly this new literacy opens up, which involves kind of imagery, sound, music, and words, and most people can find a way into that literacy in ways that they can't just with kind of straight on text. So this idea 
which kind of originated from my from my experience with Sesame Workshop to kind of bring digital storytelling into schools, then happened to coincide with the rise of digital literacy and the rise of social media and the rise of everyone trying to create videos for YouTube and become an influencer and then comes TikTok and, and it just keeps going. So there's a convergence there of what I do with a, a, um, a demand in the schools for kids to learn how to create meaningful digital stories, not stupid ones, which, you know, initially kind of would be posted on Facebook and then on YouTube and then on TikTok, but meaningful ones because all three of those platforms are now a vehicle for a very substantive dialogue and conversation. They're no longer just silly, but they still have to be entertaining. They just still, yes. still work on that level. Um, so I'm trying to, with Meridian Stories, bring that mentality um, into the classroom. Uh, this is not a silly medium or a silly literacy. It's actually a, the most important literacy to come around in, I don't know, 5,000 years. And so let's start teaching toward it.